Brendan Rogers. Oh. Right? <laughs> oh. The guys just left uh, Leicester by mutual consent. Uh, they're in the bottom three. What are we saying? I think it's actual disgrace. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Disgrace? Yes, Brendan Rodgers is so above the level of a Leicester City. I don't care where they are on the table. This I mean, it does matter. Nah, but <laughs> he finished fifth with Leicester twice. He won them an FA Cup and a Community Shield. He's a quality manager. And the thing is, when things like this happen, I always look at, who can you get that's better? Leicester will not get a better manager, all right? What they need to do is back Rodgers. The owners haven't been buying players. Mentally, though, there's a little bit of a giving up moment. Like, earlier in the season, there's some of the things he was saying. Like what? He didn't... He, he was given interviews where I thought, you don't look like you're up for the fight. And I get that, like, the circumstances haven't been ideal, but he was making sounds as if, <sighs> don't really, like, a bit like Conte, you know, like, where he's like, I'd quite happily fuck off now. Do you think he should have gone then? Do you think? Well, for me, if you're in the bottom three, you need to be one million percent committed to that. And if you look at, like, Sean Dyche at Everton right now, he took that job knowing what they're involved in. He signed up for that. I don't think Brendan Rodgers would have ever have signed up for the situation. I don't think you can say that Rodgers isn't committed to Leicester because he could have, he could have easily flirted with other clubs like Tottenham. Chelsea, any bigger clubs? Uh, they finished fifth twice. That has, is a bigger. That is a bigger achievement in my eyes than fluking a, a Premier League title a, a, win. A question: Do you think Brendan Rodgers rejects those clubs if they come in for him? Guy, no. Guys, <laughs> so a, a, just <laughs> he's left by mutual consent because he's going to Spurs. They right? always say mutual consent. It's like yeah, they say face for the manager. They conceded thirty-one shots to Crystal Palace, a team who had not went what four games without a shot on target. They they had nine on target against Leicester, and uh, Leicester only had three shots to thirty-one against Palace. And that is that is like as bad as it gets, isn't it? When you're down there. And Chris the Ballas are coached by a skeleton as well. So I do see your point. That wasn't Mate, a the, good the, look. the guy is the, the crypt keeper. Yeah, he, right. like, he probably uh, needs a nurse to cut up his food at half time. <laughs> uh, it wasn't a good look for Rodgers, I'll say that much. They're 19th in the league. 19th. Now, I'm not saying overnight Brendan Rodgers has become a bad manager. I still think he's a good manager. But the reality is he's not getting the best out of these players. Yeah. They're not responding to him. And it doesn't matter how much of a good manager you are. Once the project starts to dissolve and the players stop believing in your philosophies and ideologies, you've got to separate. And Brendan Rodgers, it's not... How can they be 19th? If you have a club that you want to develop young players, he's your man. No doubt about it. You can see what he did at Chelsea. His track record there spoke for itself. At Liverpool, look what he did with Raheem Sterling. He brought him through and, and really made him the player he was. I have a lot of time from as a coach, but he really is just about project Brendan Rodgers. That's harsh. That's harsh. I he's done at a bit of that, though, when he was giving those interviews earlier this season, I was like, if I was a, a fan of that club and you were talking like that, you've got one foot out the door here, mate. And then this is the team, all right, yeah. They, 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 they sent them up shit creek a bit with the transfer budgets and that, with the financial issues that the owners have had. But then I'm looking at the starting lineup and you're seeing players like Ndidi, like Madison, players who are being courted by Man City and Madison, like... You, you've still got some top class players I there. I think that list ends pretty much at Madison. Like, indeed, <laughs> Madison and Thielen's probably, but everyone else is pretty much average. Yeah. Jamie Vardy has fallen off a cliff. Macaulay Langstaff and Notts County who put up more of a fight in the Premier League than Jamie Vardy mm -hmm. right now. Hudson Daka has ability, but he hasn't shown it yet. He hasn't shown it yet. At the stage, he's teetering on, like, flop. Like, what did Leicester, who did Leicester buy in the summer? They got Harry Sutar in in January. It was just another Harry Maguire. He's even got a square head as well. Same name. <laughs> I would like one of you at the, at the table to tell me who can Leicester get that's an upgrade. If we're also judging Brendan Rodgers fairly, are Leeds, Bournemouth, Forest, and, and teams like that better equipped than Leicester? No way. Something's gone wrong there. He's obviously falling out with the players or the players aren't buying into him. A lot of those pl players were edging for moves in the summer and I feel like that created an uncomfortable environment as well. But it's not always about getting an upgrade. Look at Chelsea. Actually, that's kind of bat flops in my opinion. <laughs> but it creates a better atmosphere. Give me a name then. Go on. Someone give me a name. I, I want to know who, who else they're going to get now. Like, what is their, what is their uh, level? Like, I remember when they sacked Ranieri. Do you know who they were in talks with? Roy Hodgson. Gerard. Lampard. See? <laughs> Same uh, name. See what I'm saying? They're not the right choice. And I think Kasper Schmeichel, even Leicester, probably played a big part in that dressing room. Maybe starting to so. fracture a little bit. It is a bit of a sad story, though, isn't it? Seeing, like, obviously they, their owner passed away in those tragic circumstances. They were the Cinderella story of the Premier League history. And I'll, I'll never forget watching them lift. Like, I was one of the most... It was the most unbelievable sporting thing we've seen. So, to see such a, a great club have that moment and then... Now, I, I really would be surprised if they beat the drop. 
I think Leicester City have had their time in the Premier League. I think we should Whoa. We wow. should box it up. How does that make sense? Put that little uh, <laughs> six years of, you know, the miracle. Let the miracle finally die. They had their Premier League title win. They finished fifth twice. FA Cup. They're not going to do anything else. That's that FA chair. Cup was only two years ago. The FA Cup with the cherry and the cake. Just let them go. These are players in a team that were in the Champions League places almost all of the season for two years and then fell away at the last minute. Yeah. For them to be in the relegation zone now, even allowing for injuries, it's shocking. Yeah. I wonder if Brendan does end up at Spurs or somewhere like that. I think that... I don't want him. I, I wouldn't either, personally. Judging by the way he's behaved and how self-serving he has been, yes, he's a decent coach, but like, there's now a few jobs where you're like, that really fell apart at the end. Do you think his next move is what, championship? I think he thinks he's way above championship level. He, nah, he is. Yeah. Come on, what are we doing? He just won them FA Cup two years ago. I know. I told you, he, he hasn't become a bad coach overnight. I just think things are not working there. It's like what it was like with Spurs and Pochettino at the end of his tenure. Sometimes things just go a bit sour, they go a bit stale, and you've got to freshen it up. What How about Brendan Rodgers been there? West Ham are pretty much nailed on to get rid of Moise, aren't they, at the end of the season? If you take Brendan Rodgers to your club, you'd want the director of football there. I don't want him picking the transfers. I want him coaching, and that's it. So he needs to go into a structure, I think, a club that he just coaches, that's it. So you don't think he's a top manager then? I think he's a great coach. I just don't think he's a great man manager. I don't think he can keep those relationships the way Guardiola has, Dude, the way I had Klopp Glenn, has. Glenn Johnson on the show a couple of years ago, and he basically was like, the man's a plunger, right? <laughs> like, he said it without saying it. He was like, because Glenn Johnson had been coached by Mourinho the year before, and, and Brendan Rodgers was the assistant manager of Mourinho. So then he goes into a Brendan Rodgers side, I think it was at Liverpool, and he said, almost word for word, Brendan Rodgers was just repeating the things that Mourinho was saying the year before. <laughs> but like everyone else was on the edge of their seat at Liverpool, like, oh, he's a good speaker, this guy. And Glenn's like, oh, I've heard this one before. Wouldn't be the three envelopes thing, but it's yeah. it. <laughs> oh, that was. Oh, lads. I still to this day, I've got three names and three envelopes in here, and these are the players that are going to let us down this season. Yeah. Oh, it's basic. That was such a weird psychological so thing. It's just Stuart Downey written on every one. Like, <laughs> 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 that's what it is.